So tonight, a Homestead High School student behind bars, accused of sex extortion, allegedly threatening two underage girls if they didn't do what he demanded. And there may be other victims out there. Let's get to Local 10 News reporter Carlos Suarez live in West Miami-Dade with the details. Lori, police say that the 18-year-old went to school with these two girls and that he apparently had a semi-naked picture of one of them before he contacted them. Now, the girls said that this 18-year-old knew enough about it, knew enough information about them, rather, that they really felt they had no choice but to go along with his demands. The alleged extortion played out on the Kick Messenger app. The threats were clear. Send me a naked picture of you or else. Police say 18-year-old Terry Fenelon hid behind his phone and went by the name Dre on the popular app. The 15 and 16-year-old victims are students at Homestead High. Authorities say Fenelon threatened to harm the girls' families and expose naked pictures of them online unless they sent him more X-rated photos. Late Wednesday, word of the arrest had spread on campus. Some people say he innocent, some people say he not. According to an arrest warrant, one of the girls agreed to perform oral sex on Terry at the school in exchange for keeping the photos private. And in each case, Terry knew enough information about the girls that they worried he would deliver on the threat. Quote, Dre began to make additional threats toward her family and even described where her six-year-old niece gets off of the school bus and stated that if victim number one wished to see her again, she will comply with his demands. This is bizarre. It's something that shouldn't happen. You know, I understand there's kids our age now doing sexual activity. But that's your body. You know, nobody should be able to see what is yours. A knock at Fenelon's home in Homestead went unanswered. Police say it wasn't until the teens realized that they were falling victim to the same person that they went to school administrators. The school district on Wednesday released a statement that read in part, quote, the details of this case are extremely disturbing. Although social media has many positive uses, this incident serves as a good reminder that parents need to monitor their children's social media activity and warn them of the negative consequences when it is improperly used. Fenelon was arrested last month on similar charges in a separate case. He is being held without bond tonight on sexual battery and extortion charges. Police do believe that there are more victims. Now, if you have any information or would like to come forward, you are urged to call Miami-Dade Crime Stoppers at 305-471-TIPS. We're live tonight in West Miami-Dade. I'm Carlos Suarez, Local 10 News.